Yo, it's two things I do when my food is too hot. And my son learning from me, cause right now he doing it. You put it in front of the AC vent and let it cool off. Uh, roll the window down. Or, or I stick it out of the window when I'm driving and let the wind blow it until it cools off. Now it's not on me. If y'all mess around and, and your fool fall out of the window now, trying to do what I do. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna make a slide into this Walmart, get my ingredients for the night. It's breakfast for dinner. Breakfast for dinner tonight. Chicken bacon? What in the cock-a-doodle-doo? -doo -doo? I've never seen chicken bacon before. I gotta get it. Y'all know what it is. If you know the song, sing along. I say, uh, uh, uh. Hey, Dad. Chicken is my specialty. If you're dirty in the kitchen like cold DV, turning these groceries into delicacies. The Carolina cook got no recipe. The Carolina cook got no recipe. The Carolina cook got no recipe. Uh -huh. the Carolina cook got no recipe. When I made my theme song, I was obviously influenced by ODB. R.I.P. Dirt right, for Dirt. What's up, y'all? Chef Anthony all Britain here. The Carolina cook. Cooking, tasting, and eating the Carolinas, man. I've been doing a lot of cooking lately in these episodes. Wasn't getting out but, much uh, lately. I'm just going to hook up a hood classic. Now, keep in mind when I say hood, hood is not necessarily a negative connotation. People always as associate hood with violence. But no, hood is the way you grew up. Like hood, you know, certain things you ate, certain things you wore, certain things you went through, certain things you did to get by, stuff like that, the, 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 your, your lifestyle, the other, the, 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 you know, stuff like that, just hood. So I'm going to cook up a hood classic, eggs and rice, man. Back in the day when we used to play around on the stove and stuff like that. Egg and, eggs and rice is one of the things we used to whip up. And so I'm going to do this breakfast style, y'all. Like, why just stop at fried eggs and rice? Let's turn it into a breakfast, a brunch, brenner, or whatever you want to call it. All right, so this is going to be a quick one. If it wasn't for all my talking, all the videos would be a quick one. But I don't just right, cook, I entertain. It, this is cooking, not NASCAR. What the egg, foo young? Y'all, Yo, your boy only got three eggs left. That's cutting it kind of close, but I got to make it work. Oh, I got a plan. I'm going to show y'all how to increase the volume on these three eggs, how to make it look like more. Watch it get real hot real fast. That's a little too hot right there. Turn that heat down. Now I'm going to let that... I'm gonna let that egg get as much volume on it as it possibly can. I'm gonna let it sit there and puff up for a minute. While it's sitting there, I'll add that. And hit it with that garlic herb. You don't have to use garlic herb, use whatever you want. Mm. I just got garlic herb on deck, so that's what I smell. I'm usually doing good. With your wok, you don't ever wanna use metal in the wok. I got plastic. Want that egg like an omelet. Make it thick. See the volume on that? The thickness on that? Look like an egg steak. Make a nice lump out of it. Now, just throw this rice in there. All right, now you see why I wanted the eggs thick. You don't want like how you go to the restaurant and get egg fried rice and it just be skimpy looking. You don't want that in your rice. You want thick eggs. That's why I made the egg thick. See the volume on that egg and that rice? That's what makes this a meal. Now that's some good fried chicken and rice right there, ain't it? We're gonna, we gonna start on our bacon. Yes, sir, the cast iron. All right, got a little low temperature here. I don't want my bacon to come along too fast. I want a nice little gradual cook on this. Look at this, man. This chicken bacon don't look too bad. It actually looks like real bacon. 
beef bacon. Whole lot better than turkey bacon. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these. That's delicious, man. It's just like, tastes just like beef bacon. Right, let's lay this, lay this bacon down. See how the heat is not too high. Got a light little sizzle there. Let them drain. This batch here is soft. Leave this batch soft. I got a little idea for this this batch. Bring. All right, y'all. Let's get it plated up and presented. You know how I go. There you have it, y'all. My finished plate. Instead of going with traditional ketchup like we used to do back in the day, put ketchup on it, I went with sun-dried tomatoes. You know, since tomatoes is ketchup, you know, since ketchup is basically made from tomatoes, I went with sun-dried tomatoes. All right, work it. This is your last time to shine before you get bust down. Work it, work it. There you go. All right, y'all, the reason I wanted to leave some of the bacon soft, I fried some hard, some soft, uh, that way I can roll them up, but then after I rolled them up, I realized I didn't have like no little toothpicks or anything to stick in them to keep them rolled up. So yeah, they kind of unraveled, but I still like the presentation. How it goes from small, medium to large like that. It still look all right, just not what I was uh, necessarily going for. Let's see what it hitting like. The garlic and herb egg rice is all right. Now let's hit it with a little bit of this sun-dried tomato. Bust it. Let's get some bacon with it. Now I'm going to try some with the egg and rice. I posted a video of me eating egg and rice from a restaurant one day for breakfast. And somebody pretty much gave the suggestion to try it with syrup. So I'm gonna hit this egg and rice with some syrup. Just a spoonful of it. I'm gonna hit it with that syrup and see what they talking about. This make me make up want to make a whole nother plate and garnish it with syrup. If you make this, put syrup on it. This just changed the breakfast game. Betcha by golly, wow. I just created a gourmet breakfast dish out of a hood classic. Remember, if you're not happy, you just might not be eating good. Like, comment, share the love, and subscribe, y'all. Hit that notification bell. South Carolina, I'm representing us. Y'all, I had to fix another plate and put some syrup off on it, but I went too heavy on the syrup. You don't want to use a lot of syrup. All you need is a couple drops. Um, but that's on you how much syrup you like. All right, y'all need to mark this day on your calendar because it's, it's, it's historical. 8-10-2021. Chef Anthony R. Britton, the Carolina cook, created a Carolina classic breakfast. We got our shrimp boils. I mean, we got our seafood boils. We got our shrimp and grits, red rice, all kind of... Uh, Dishes that have been around for hundreds of years. 
Southern staples, and I think I just created a new one because it's never too late to create historical dishes for your state. This one here is a new one. This one just changed the breakfast game down south. Like it, share it, thou the love, and subscribe unto my channel and smiteth that notification button. Thank you.